found this little guy walking on the beach wearing plastic. I thought, well, that's no good. So I took out my handy bag of hermit crab shells, snatched him up, placed him in a bucket, and gave him a few houses to choose from. He liked the black stripe one. Good choice. Slide that slimy abdomen out and into your new home. Much better. A lot of people don't realize that they are taking a potential home of a hermit crab when they pick up an empty shell off the shoreline. Now I go to the beach pretty much daily searching for these hermit crabs. It's a huge problem over here in Okinawa, Japan. In 2010, I started finding an abundance of these crabs with beach trash homes. These beautiful hermit crabs are not born with shells, so to protect their bodies, they actually have to go looking for them. They don't like living in plastic, but there's not many shell options on the beach anymore. So I decided to start the crab conservation project called Make the Switch for Nature. And when I do find a hermit crab, first thing I do is I offer it a variety of shells. The switch takes anywhere from 45 seconds to 30 minutes. Once the hermit crab moves on, I keep the discarded plastic for my collection. And I currently have 151 caps collected. I use donated tapestry turbines from organizations and just kind people that want to support the project. What I usually do is I will carve a tracking number and a positive message on the backside of one of the shells. My hope is that the messages can brighten someone's day. They can also learn about the situation and stop collecting shells from the beaches. As these hermit crabs grow, they have to find bigger and bigger shells to fit into. With the help of the community, we have placed over 5,000 shells in the coastal forest. I love coming across the ones that have found one of my shells. Hermit crabs are so important for the ecosystem. We gotta start protecting them for future generations. And one thing they can do is participating in a beach cleanup and also return any unwanted shells back to the coastal forest for the animals in need. The biggest thing is to have fun, get outdoors, respect, and reconnect with nature.